In this video, we will learn how to find out unknown angles or we can say find out the value of x and a. So let's take a start. This taken from parallel lines exercise 2 from class 8 geometry book. So you can see here we have a question and both the angles are inside these two parallel lines. It means these two are co-interior. Co-interior means when you add we get 100. 80 degree yes so what we can write here 5x plus 60 is equal to 180 degree uh, reason we can write on being co-interior both angles are inside of parallel line so being co-interior this two are parallel line and both angles are inside of parallel line so co-interior these two are unlike terms so we can write here 5x is equal to 60 we have to take right side 180 minus 60 so 5x is equal to when you subtract we get here 120 x is equal to this in multiplication so we have to divide 120 divided by 5 therefore what is the value of x 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 20 5 fours are 20 so here we get 25 4 degree so answer is 24 degree now look at the question number b here also you can see here both angles are inside of parallel line it means this also co-interior so we can write 3x plus 120 is equal to 180 reason same being co-interior angle okay up to here after this these two are unlike terms so we have to take right side so we can write 3x is equal to 180 minus 120 3x is equal to when you subtract we get 60 degree this in multiplication so we have to divide 60 divided by 3 therefore the value of x is equal to 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 0 20 degree so the value of x is equal to 20 degree now look at the next question number c you can see here one angle is outside and one is inside of these two parallel lines okay these two parallel lines we have one angle is outside and one is inside of these two parallel it means what the relation of these two angle is corresponding angle so corresponding angle always equal therefore we can write here 2a plus 30 is equal to a plus 45 corresponding angle always equal now we have to find out the value of a so we have to take a this side and 30 we have to take right side so we can write here 2a minus a is equal to 45 minus 30 when you subtract we get a and when you subtract here we get here 15 so the value of a is equal to how much here we get 15 hope you understand this question too now look at the question number d what is the relation of this two angle which is in the form of z it means alternate angle these two lines are parallel one angle is left one is uh, right side of this line so this relation of these two angle is alternate and alternate angle also always equal so we can write here 4a minus 10 is equal to 3a plus 10 this angle and this angle always equal 4a minus 10 is equal to 3a minus 10 now these two are unlike terms so 3a we have to take here and 10 at last so we can write here 4a minus 3a is equal to 10 plus 10 4a minus 3a we get a is equal to 10 plus 10 we get here 20 degree okay so value of a is equal to how much here we get 20 now look at next question question number e here we have to find out the value of a two lines are parallel and what is the relation of this two angle alternate one is left side another is right side of this intersecting line so alternate always equal so we can write here 2a minus 30 is equal to a after this these two are unlike terms so we cannot subtract so a we have to take left side and 30 to the right side so 2a here is plus a so we have to write minus a is equal to here is minus 30 when you take right side we have to write down plus 30 we have to change the sign also when you subtract we get a is is equal to 30 degree after this look at this question here also we have to find out the value of x as well as we have to find out the value of a these two angles are equal so we can write here x is equal to 2a what is the reason being a vertically opposite angle boa here being alternate angle you can write down alternate 
angle B in alternate angle. Okay, these two are alternate angle. This one, this one vertically opposite angle B O A. Now this angle and this angle are equal. B in alternate we can write down, or this angle and this angle are equal. B in corresponding angle you can write down anything. I am going to take these two angles. You can write this and this also equal. No problem. This and this equal. So 3A minus 10 is equal to 2A reason B in corresponding angle. Why corresponding angle? One angle is outside and one is inside of these two parallel lines. Two parallel lines are here. One is inside and one is outside of these two parallel lines. After that we have to solve this 2A. We have to take left side and 10 we have to take right side. So we can write 3A minus 2A is equal to 10. When you subtract this we get A. A is equal to 10 we get value of a now we have to find out the value of x so what is the value of x x is equal to 2a so we can write x is equal to 2a now put the value of a here in the place of a we have to write on 10 therefore the value of x is equal to 20 degree hope you understand this question also now I'll, uh, look at the last two questions you can see here this and this angle are equal this and this also equal so first of all take these two these two are alternate two lines two angles are inside of parallel lines so alter alternate so we can write here x plus 40 is equal to 2x reason we can write here being alternate angle being alternate angle you can write on up to here after that 40 is equal to x we have to take right side so we can write 2x minus x 40 is equal to 2x minus x we get x therefore x is equal to 40 degree Hope you understand this question. Now look at the next question. Here we have to find out. Here also we have to find out value of A also. We got X. Now A, A is equal to 2A. Oh, this one is remaining. Let's do it. A is equal to 2A. What we can write on here reason? Being vertically opposite angle. So A is equal to 2X. 2X. 2 into what is the value of X? 40. So we have to write here 40. 40 into 280 so value of a is equal to we get here 80 and value of x is equal to 40 now look at the last question number h here we have to find out value of x as well as value of a so first of all find out x then x is equal to a we can write because these two are corresponding always equal and x plus 130 is equal to what 180 degree being a straight angle or being supplementary angle you can write on anything so we can write x plus 130 degree is equal to 180 degree reason being supplementary angle being supplementary angle so let's find out the value of x x is equal to 180 minus 130 therefore the value of x when you subtract this we get 50 degree after this we have to find out the value of a a is equal to x so we can write here a is equal to x what is the reason being corresponding angle being corresponding angle how corresponding angle because one angle is inside one is outside of these two parallel line that's why corresponding angle so here a is equal to what is the value of x x is equal to 50 so a also 50 we got so this one is the answer hope you understand today's uh, uh, video related with parallel lines if you understand please hit the like button and if you're new on my channel please consider subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos thanks for watching till last keep supporting and keep sharing with your friends